Hello, my name is Rona and welcome to the 90 Day Startup. I'm so excited to be here with you today, helping you to save time, make money, increase productivity, and grow your startup. Today, we're going to be asking the crystal ball, will my business succeed? So stay tuned. Generally speaking, there's at least three reasons why your business will not succeed. So let's take a look at those. Starting with number one, it will be difficult to succeed if you're not able to organize and quickly adapt. And there's so many different tools out there that will help you with that part of the process of starting your business, organizing. But as far as adapting, that is generally a part of the improvement, the continuous improving process. And we do address that very much in depth in the 90 day startup. On that list, there will be things that are compartmentalized that you have to focus on. There are things that you can put on your back burner and get back to at a later date. And then there will be things that you will continuously need to monitor, which leads me to number two your business will probably not be successful if you are not able to delegate. That is gonna be so very important. We talk about this in each of the countdown videos that we did. If you are still in the process of working or maybe you're still in that feasibility mode of planning or thinking about starting a business. But once you do decide to start and you have actually launched your business, you are going to have to put things in neat little packages. Essentially, running a business is like managing a series of projects, and they will be in all different forms of various stages of development. And the great thing about projects as it relates to your business is that projects have a start date and they also have an end date. So whatever projects that you have going on related to making your business more successful, or even getting your business off the ground, eventually you'll have an end point where you can then look at the lessons learned, maybe some of the risk factors, or some of the organizational processes that you've created that then can be fed into other projects that you start as it relates to the success of your business. However, if you're not able to delegate some of these items to other people, it's going to be very difficult for you to manage all of these different projects yourself, which is why it's going to be so important for you to create a team. A lot of those people you probably will never meet in person because they may be attached to some type of third party tool that you're utilizing or someone like me. We may never meet in person, however, working together my job would be to help you to focus on things that you need to have up front and center versus things that can come at a later date but still need your attention and focus. And number three, you won't be successful if you can't embrace technology. A lot of what you need will probably come from members of your team that are located in different places. The sooner you embrace technology, learn how to communicate remotely, and do things on a virtual level is definitely going to help you to be more successful with your business. The 90 Day Startup Checklist is comprised of 90 items, not all of them needed for your particular business model. However, many of them are going to be able to help you to streamline some of the processes that are needed that will ensure the success of your business. And then from there, be sure to take a look at the 10 minute video that will help you to streamline your focus. Be sure to subscribe and to share. And also check out some of the links below, especially if you wanna be a part of the 90 Day Startup Business Strategy Sessions. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.